All right, hello and welcome to a session of Fit Essentials. My name is Shauna, I'll be taking you through class. We're gonna go ahead and start down on the floor on our back. So go ahead and get into position. All right, everybody, we're gonna lie flat on our backs and we're just gonna start with a, about a minute of breathing. I don't know where your day has been so far, but I know we can always benefit by just taking a moment to focus in on our breath. So I want you to lie down on your back Go ahead and bend your knees, the feet flat as comfortable, or if you prefer them straight, that's fine as well. Set your shoulder blades so that they come back and down your spine, and then just check in with your pelvis. See how it wants to lie on the floor. If you want to rock it forward and rock it back a couple of times, just to find a nice comfortable position there. And then take one hand and place it on your chest, and the other hand and place it on your uh, stomach. And then from here, just invite you to close your eyes if you're comfortable and we're going to just spend like I said about 45 seconds to a minute of breathing take a nice deep breath in feel the rib cage and the lungs rise and then nice slow exhale feel everything depress and then just on your own whatever feels comfortable cleansing breath, breathing in through the nose and out through the mouth. Okay, good. So once more, nice deep breath in. And let it all go. Very good. From there, let's go ahead. Just take your arms, just let them rest down to the sides. And then with your feet about hip width apart, you're gonna gently rock them side to side like windshield wipers. So bring the knees over to one side, back to center, and then across to the other. It's gonna go about three to five times each side here. Waking up through the hips. Continue to use this time to keep connecting to your breath. And then as you even out yourself on those windshield wipers, Come back to center and gradually just pull both knees into the chest. And then we're just gonna go double knee to chest and gradually again, rocking yourself side to side, stretching out your low back a bit here. Very good, once you finish that, we're gonna go back to the feet flat with the knees bent and we're gonna gradually work into some glute bridges here. So you're gonna pull the belly button in and gradually start to lift your pelvis up off the ground. Try to start to raise your hips about one segment at a time, starting to come into that bridge. And then when you're ready, start to pull that chin in towards the chest. And when you get to the top, just pause here for a moment, really pushing into the heels, nice and gentle through the hips and pause for one or two breaths at the top. And then when you're ready, gradually start to lower your spine one segment at a time down, starting from the top and taking it all the way down. Very good. Once you get the hips back on the ground, we're going to bring the feet off the ground, knees together, and make your way into two knee twists, bringing the legs to one side, looking over the opposite shoulder. And then when you're ready, use your midline up and across to the other side. Again, looking over the other shoulder. Very good. Two to three times each side here. And when you're ready, we're going to come back to center. We're going to go one more time back into our bridge. And this time you're going to work to interlace the hands under the body. So feet flat on the ground, rocking the hips back. Gradually start to lift the spine off the ground, starting with the pelvis, making your way up. As the mid and upper back starts to come off the ground, focus on the neck, pulling the chin in towards the chest. And then continue to lengthen as you lift the hips. And then once you have the space as able, bring your hands underneath your body, pulling the shoulder blades back and down and see if you can interlace those hands. You're gonna hold here between 20 and 30 seconds, lengthen the back of the neck and waken up those glutes. Continue to breathe deep, lifting through the rib cage as you breathe in. Very good, couple more breaths. 
Breathe in, lift the hips, driving the knees out. And when you're ready, go ahead and release the hands and gradually lower the spine back down. All right, before we roll over, let's go ahead and pull the knees to the chest once more. If you'd like to go open up the hips a little bit more, we can take it into happy baby. Elbows on the inside of the knees, grab the shins or the outsides of the ankles, feet if you can reach them, and just gently rock yourself side to side. Very good. And then when you're ready, just kind of rock yourself to one side and then gradually roll over and make your way to all, all fours. All right, so we're gonna warm up the wrists next. Go ahead and come to a kneeling position and we're gonna start by just rolling the wrists around. A few circles each directions. Get up on your chairs, everyone. Oh my goodness, I had fun in the groups yesterday. Yeah, we talked about climbing our chairs. It's like, oh, lose my words. All right, from here, we're gonna go down to palms down, fingers point towards you. Place the hands flat on the ground and just very gently rock back and then rock side to side. All right, from here, we're gonna turn the fingers in, interlace the hands and make some circular motions. Just get a nice stretch to the forearms, waking up the wrist. After two to three circles one way, go ahead and switch directions, take it the other way. Very good. From here, we're gonna go into child's posture. Toes together, knees divide, reach the arms out in front, and then gradually drop your hips back, drop the head between the arms. And nice big breaths into the back of the rib cage. Continue to work on expanding, and then on that exhale, drop that chest down. One more. Very good. From here, make your way back up to your hands. Nice wide handprint. We're gonna go into our mid-back rotations. One hand behind the head. Bring your elbow to meet the opposite elbow and then lift up out of that bottom shoulder, peer up towards the ceiling. We're gonna go five each side. Elbow to elbow, lift and rotate. Good, breathe in as you close. Exhale as you open, follow with your gaze. And when you're done with five, go ahead and switch. Take the same thing on the opposite side. Very good. Pausing in that open position, full exhale, get the most out of that rotation that you can. Very good, couple more here and then we're gonna make our way into down dog. Very good, from here. Place those hands beneath the shirt, shoulders, turn your toes under, drive your hips nice and high, and just gently pulse your head between the arms, trying to lengthen from hands to hips, driving your hips nice and high, and open that mid back. And when you're ready, go ahead and pedal out the heels. Very good. All right, we're gonna come back down into child's pose. This time we're gonna take it into child's pose side stretch. So let's start walking your hands over to your right side. Take your left hand, reach it nice and long. And then from there, drop down, lowering your chest down and breathe into where you feel that tension. Let's get two to three breaths and then we'll walk our hands to the opposite side. Very good, take it the other way, walking the hands across. This time your right hand, reach it nice and long and gently sink the hips back, lower the chest down. And continue to connect to your breath, nice deep breath in. Two to three there. Fantastic, this time on our mid back rotations, we're gonna come a little bit deeper into it. You're gonna come down to the forearm, and then from there, five each side, hand behind the head, elbow to elbow, rotate, peer up towards the ceiling. We're getting ready for some overhead work. Tuck down, lift up. Gaze up at the ceiling on that open position. Good. 
Good. And switch sides when you're ready. Same thing, other direction. Heating up in here now. <laughs> Very good. Taking your time in that open position. And we finish five on that side. We're going to go back to down dog. This time we're going to go alternating hand. You're trying to reach your hand to the outside of your opposite foot. So you rock forward as you send those hips high. Take one hand, reach to the outside of the opposite foot. Can't quite reach there. Just reach for your knee to start. Rocking forward, rocking back. Let's get between three and five on each side. Let's come all the way forward to like the top of the push up. And then hips high, rocking back. Waking up those shoulders. All right, fantastic. Last time, bringing it back down to the knees. We're gonna do one more variation of child's pose. This time you're gonna go little fingers together, palms up towards the ceiling, and then drop the hips straight back from there. So palms up. Pinkies together. Drop them back for two to three. Very good. And then back up to all fours. Instead of being down on the forearm, last variation of our rotation. You're going to go palm up on the small of your back. And then you're going to think about dipping your shoulder down towards the opposite elbow and then lifting up and rotating from there. So again, palm up on the small of the back, dip down, lift and rotate. Five each side. Really focus as you rotate to lift up out of that support shoulder. Very good, and then rotate when you're ready. Same thing, opposite side. All right, fantastic. And then last piece before we start to make our way up to our feet. Back into that down dog. We're gonna go down dog, same side, knee to elbow. So you'll push back into down dog, come forward, bring your knee towards that same side elbow. Driving back, opening the mid back, knee towards the opposite elbow. So just alternating legs, bring it to the same side elbow each time. We're gonna spend about a minute here. Feel free to rest anytime you want or move the whole way through. As you pull that knee towards the elbow, really think about like hollowing through the mid body, lifting through that mid back. Helps me as well. I kind of grip my finger pads down to the floor, activate the arches of the hands. Good, continue to breathe. Good, we're over 30 seconds in. Really bring some heat into the body here. Waking up the midline as well. Very good, 10 more seconds. Go ahead and even out each side. And then when you're done, set the feet outside the hips and gradually walk your hands towards the feet and make your way to standing. Whew. All right. Once you make your way up, let's grab a little bit of water. A couple more, a uh, couple more stretches, and we're gonna get ready for our first circuit here. All right, we're gonna be doing some overhead pressing and either a single leg balance or a single leg deadlift. If you weren't here yesterday, you can always do. If you have anything going on that you don't want to hinge, you're welcome to do a lunge. But let's start with behind the back stretch. Nice wide stance, interlace the hands behind you, extend those elbows, keep the ribs down. We don't want to arch here. And then root down into your legs and send those hips back, bowing forward. Pull the arms up, breathe in the back of the rib cage. And then when you're ready, root back down into your legs, make your way back up to standing, shaking out those arms. 
All right, tricep stretch. We're gonna go in a stagger stance, your right foot forward, left foot back, reach that left arm straight up, keep the ribs down, bend the elbow, and then nice and tall through the head and neck. Grab that elbow and then bend towards the lead leg. Breathe in as you lengthen, exhale as you take it into that side stretch. Three to five. Really want to focus here to not let the chest and neck shut, like drop forward. So continue to lift through that mid back, staying tall. And then after you finish there, shake out those arms. Same thing, other side. Left foot steps forward, your right foot back, right arm reaches up this time. Bend that elbow, stand tall, push that back hip forward, and then take it towards your left, bending towards that front leg. All right, fantastic. For the overhead press today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating it from a kneeling position. You're welcome to join me down there. It's gonna involve a little bit more on and off the ground, or you can just stay tall and do it from standing, completely up to you. So we're gonna go overhead press, come back to our feet. From there, we'll do our single leg work, either a balance or that single leg deadlift, bowing forward and stand. And then we go back for the opposite side, right arm overhead press, coming back to the feet and single leg, balance or bow forward on the right, okay? So if you're not quite sure what we're doing, feel free to just follow along. We're gonna be doing it three times through, starting with that overhead press. Is that red one 15? Uh, the silver one is. Okay. You want it? Yeah. Why don't I grab it? Gotcha. Thank you. Yeah. All right, everybody. Going in two, one, and here we go. Push nice and high. Elbow forward as you lower. Very good. Trying to see how far you can elevate at the top, pushing all the way through without letting that back arch. Good. There you go. Couple more. and rest, fantastic. Coming up to your feet or transitioning with weight or without weight on this first one. I'm actually gonna kick my shoes off. I always feel like I can grip the ground a little bit better. Starting on the left, lift up out of the hip in two, one, here we go. Bowing forward, back toe points down towards the floor and then stand nice and smooth. Good, staying on the same side. Long spine, reaching down. Very good. Moving with control. Whew. Fantastic, over halfway, staying focused. Keep lifting up out of that hip each time. And rest when you finish that one, fantastic. All right, same thing other side, back to that overhead press. And two, one, here we go. Push through, elbow forward as you lower. Don't let it wing out wide. Keep engaged in that midline as you press, especially on these single arms. I like to use my non-working arm. I'll just put it on my abdomen to kind of help wake everything up there. Make sure I'm keeping the front of the ribs down. Very good. Have your breathing nice and symmetrical. Very good. And two, one, rest and rotate. Coming up, single leg work on the right side. All right, so set that foot, toe pointing straight ahead. Lift up out of the hips, and here we go. Bowing forward, grip the toes down on the floor or in the bottom of the shoe. You're focused to activate the arch that foot. That's going to help support the ankle. Woo. <laughs> Find that spot. I'm about three feet in front of your foot on the floor to help focus on. Have a spot to focus that balance. And then stand tall. Very good. Last one. <laughs> 
and relax. Fantastic. Grab a quick drink and then we're back down or stay standing for the second round. All right. And three, two, one. Here we go. Breathe. Nice. Good job, 10 seconds. Press that weight right over the top of your head. And two, one, and rotate. All right, I'm gonna try using some weight this time. I personally like to hold the weight in the hand opposite of the leg that I'm balancing on. And you could also always balance with your hand like on a desk or something on the opposite. Lift up out of that hip and ready, here we go. Staying as square as you can through the hips. Every time you come back to the top, lift up out of that hip before you start to lower again. Long spine. Very good, looks great, ladies. <laughs> Hard to watch you all and then try to balance. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one more. And rest, great job. Halfway through everybody, opposite arm, overhead press. Two, one, here we go. Pushing through. Nice. Very good. Continue to elevate through that shoulder. Push nice and high. Fantastic. One to two more. And rest. Very good. Second side. Right leg, single leg work. So again, if you're holding the weight, hold it in the opposite hand. Lifting up. And two, one, here we go. Take your time here, focusing on moving with control with this one. Really important to keep those hips level. Nice, great position that back leg, Kathy. Good, Sharon, I like that knee drive there. Looks strong. Nice, Tanya. One more, good focus. That's a deceptive little move. And rotate, very nice, folks. Let's grab a drink. We've got one more round of that. Yeah. It's like, oh, no big deal. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. All right, last time through, non-dominant arm. Two, one, here we go. Good, breathe, smile. Halfway through. Very good. Great job, pushing it high, nice and tall and rest and rotate left leg right hand if you're holding weight all right set that foot lifting up out of the hips and begin when you're ready remember to stand tall each time a little less knee bend on that one keep to the heel on the on your support leg yeah there you go that's good Fantastic. Less than 10 seconds, about two more here, nice and controlled. And rest, awesome job. Overhead press, last time. And two, one, here we go.
Good job, hold that midline nice and strong. Even though you're pushing overhead with the upper body, you can still focus to give a little tension and engagement of that lower body and midline. That's right, squeeze the cheeks. Work, almost there. And final rotation this set, fantastic. Coming up to the feet, right leg, left hand. Nice deep breath, standing tall. Two, one, and begin. Drive that back leg up. The goal is to have that back thigh parallel to the torso. While the toe continues to point down, keeping those hips nice and level. Very good. And rest. Nice work, everybody. Let's set that down, grab a drink. We're gonna stretch out those hips for a second. Either take a seat for figure four, or if you wanna practice a little bit more balance, let's do it standing. Taking one foot, crossing it over, and then from there, sending the hips back, looking to open up this outer hip. Ooh. Nice tall chest. Yeah, Sharon's got no hands, nice work. <laughs> Staying tall. Two, one, come on up, same thing other side. Lifting up, cross that foot over and sit back. <laughs> Open up that hip, staying strong in the midsection. Two, one, and release, fantastic. Standing tall, widen the legs, inner thigh stretch, reaching out, little side lunge here. Back to center and to the other side. Keep the feet planted, knee pushing nice and wide. All right, from here, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. I'm just gonna do a little, it's about five to six minutes of some midline work. We're gonna start 30 seconds, either holding a plank or a plank shoulder tap. So we're gonna be demoing here. And then we're gonna roll it over for some lower midline work. So you'll roll it over, you do a tuck up, or you can work that hollow body where you're really flattening that low back to the ground. This would be the more advanced. Beginner motion would be head down, and pulling the hips up off the ground. Really key when you are on this section, not to let that low back arch. So whichever ever version you do, even a bent knee hollow, low back pushing down. If you start to arch, just give a little bit of a rest and then come back in when you're ready. Alrighty, so we're gonna start on the front side first with some plank shoulder taps. Going in 10. So nice wide handprint, hands beneath the shoulders, feet about hip width apart, and begin. So you'll shift the weight to one side, hand touches the opposite shoulder, go inside to side here. You wanna have as little shift between the hips and shoulders as possible. So ideally it looks from the back like you're just holding a plank, try to not let it appear as though you're switching arms. Very good, a couple more. and rest and rotate. Take it over onto the back. Let's start with the tuck ups. Head back, knees bent, and begin. You're gonna lower the feet down, really pulling that low back flat, then you're gonna lift the knees up, tucking them into the chest. Focus on that lower half, lowering them down, pull that belly button in, and tuck them up and in. Fantastic. Nice and patient as you lower. Very good, one to two more. And rest and rotate, fantastic. Roll it over. We're gonna do that three more times. Nice wide hand print, place those hands beneath the shoulders and two, one, here we go. Feet just outside the hips. Brace that midline, hold strong as you shift. Lifting up out of that support shoulder. 
breathe. Good job, 10 seconds. Grip the fingers down as you support. Two, one, and switch onto your back. All right, we're gonna do, you're welcome to stay with the tuck ups. I'm gonna progress it to where we're gonna go a hollow body, lifting the upper body up, and we're gonna keep one knee bent and extend the other leg. And then you'll switch them side to side. So holding strong, back pushes down to the floor. Very good. Keep holding tight. Anytime you need a little break, do it. Almost there. And rotate. Beautiful. Halfway through. That's two down. Woo. Set those hands to the shoulders. And two, one. Here we go. Back to that plank. Fantastic. Good. Yep, good practice there. Now you can even pause the hand against the shoulder. Good job, 10 seconds. And rest and rotate, taking it back. All right, I'm gonna stick with that version that we just worked on. Starting with the knees bent. Two, one, and go ahead and go into that hollow. The knees bent, as long as I can keep that low back flat, I can extend one leg, pull it in, and extend the other. Head raise, or you can also rest the head back. Whew. Very good, holding strong, keep breathing and rest and rotate. Fantastic, last time through. And ready, begin. Back to those shoulder taps. Lifting up out of that support shoulder, holding strong as you shift side to side. Really good work. Practicing that three-legged plank. Nice job, everybody. And two, one, rest and rotate. Final time. All right, I'm starting to feel some fatigue on that last one. I'm gonna go back to where we started with the tuck ups. You can do whatever you choose and begin. Just really focus on that lower body posture, not letting yourself arch. Very nice. Almost there. And two, one, and relax. Ah, woo! All right, let's roll onto your side. We're gonna stretch the quads. So up on the elbow, grab that top foot, pull that heel back. Woo! That made the midsection burn a little bit. Indeed. All right, we just got one short, quick piece to finish everybody. We're gonna be going through four sets, 30 seconds of each. Let's go ahead and roll it over, same thing, other leg. We're gonna be doing an overhead press with both hands. You can do a little dip and drive with the legs. We call it a push press. Then we're gonna come right down to our hands for some mountain climbers. And then you can lay on your belly for some supermans. If anybody has like a low back that's sensitive to not feeling comfortable to any kind of arching position. You could always uh, like hold a plank or do what we call like a plank roll in place of the Superman. I'll demo that really quick. Go ahead and lie on your stomach, hands beneath the shoulders, engage your glutes, and just do a couple press ups here, kind of lengthen the front side of the body, keeping your hips down on the floor, pulling those shoulder blades back and down, and fire the glutes. No jamming into that low back. Stay long through your low back. All right, and feel free when you finish that, take your way 
into like a child's posture, back into down dog, making your way through. I'm just gonna give you a quick little demo here of the three movements that we're doing. So we'll start either with one weight in each hand or holding one weight just like this on either side of the dumbbells. And we're gonna go either a dip and drive, nice little overhead press, 30 seconds there. You'll set down your weights, set out the hands. And on the mountain climbers, I prefer the version here where it's just knee to the same side elbow. I don't like to have a lot of like shifting through the hips. And then you'll lay flat, arms overhead, fire the glutes down and up. All right, if this doesn't feel good to anybody, you can always drop onto the elbows for a regular plank. Or if you want to be a little bit more advanced, you can go from one side plank, roll it over, woo, not all the way over, <laughs> to the other elbow. So from one side to the other, that's an option as well. Otherwise, we'll be taking you through the Superman positioning on the ground. All right, let's grab a quick drink. We're gonna start here in 20 seconds. And after those Supermans, we have a 30 second break before the next round. So it's 90 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, four times through. All right, starting with that overhead press. And two, one, here we go. Dip down, drive up. If you're doing that dip, heels down, knees push wide. Breathe. Good, halfway. Keep that midline tight, no arching. Very good, getting ready to rotate. And transition, mountain climbers, nice wide handprint, place those hands and right to it, knee to the same side elbow. Breathe. Good, halfway. Keep lifting strong out of those shoulders. And two, one, taking it down to your stomach, arms overhead, just gently lift, squeeze the glutes, hold for a second and then down, relax. Squeeze and relax. Good, pull that chin and look straight down at the floor. And try to keep those shoulders down out of the ears. So I think about pulling my shoulder blades back as I lift up, back and down. Wake up that booty, squeeze the glutes. And there's your rest break. Good job, that's set one. Feel free to go into a little stretch on your way up to your feet. Grab some water, we'll do it again in 20 seconds. All right, 10 seconds. Starting with that overhead press. Ready, and here we go. Little dip. Breathe as you extend, as you push high, exhale. Nice tall chest as you dip. Knees push out, halfway. Good, almost there. And rotate mountain climbers. Splay those hands wide, nice and tight. Keep that breathing going. There you go, nice work. Halfway through. Couple more on each side. And Superman's taking it down. Arms overhead, upon those shoulder blades, back and down as you lift. Fire the glutes. Fantastic, 10 seconds left. Really wake up that whole back side of the body. Point the toes as you lift. 
and relax. Fantastic, halfway, feel free to drop back into child's pose. Kind of make your way into like a little bit of an inchworm. On your way back up. Work, two to go. 15 seconds. All right, round three coming up in five seconds. Ready, go. Good, continue to breathe, continue to stay tall. Halfway through, get that midline tight. Woo, starting to hit that fatigue. All right, five seconds. I'm gonna transition early, my shoulders are starting to tire on me. And mountain climbers, here we go. Hitting that upper body today. We got a good cool down stretch coming. Hold strong here. Five seconds. And Superman's laying it flat. Lift and squeeze. Down and relax. Very nice. Pointing those toes, engaging the glutes, feeling those hamstrings fire as well. Good work, couple more. And rest. Fantastic, final time coming up. You know, depending upon where you are with your fitness and where your body's feeling at today, if you wanna call it after three, you've had a good session, just hang out for a couple minutes and we'll do a cool down stretch. Otherwise, we're going in 10 seconds, final round. All right, everybody. Standing tall, two, one, here we go. Continue to hold that good technique. Straight up and down. Strong drive to overhead, halfway through. All right, five seconds till mountain climbers. I'm gonna head that direction. And two, one, here we go. Worst part here, keep breathing, we're almost done. Keep it lifting up out of those shoulders. Halfway on this part. Fantastic, less than 10 seconds. And down for the Supermans. Woo, turn those arms out, pulling the shoulders back and down. Pull that chin in as well, lengthen through your neck. Point those toes, squeeze. Halfway. Fantastic, lift and hold. Fire that backside. Two, one, and rest. Woohoo! Go ahead and roll it over onto your back. Ah, nice work. Just take a quick moment here. We're going to make our way back over. Let's go a little two knee twist on the back for a second. Loosen up that low back. And then when you're ready, gradually make your way up to a seated position. We're going to start to give some love to those shoulders. All right. We're going to go a little eagle arm stretch here first. So you're gonna take your arm, let's take your left hand over top, your right hand under, interlace those hands, and now you're pushing one down as you push the other up, looking to target that lateral portion of your shoulder area. Try to relax those shoulders down your spine as you do this. Lengthen through your neck. 
Great time to close those eyes and take a couple nice deep breaths here. And when you're ready, go ahead and unwind those arms, shake them out. And then we're gonna go same thing, opposite side. So now it's gonna be your right hand comes under, left hand over, interlace. Is that right? Oh. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did it wrong. Push down, push up. Shoulders down, try to get your head to lengthen. And go ahead and start to unwind. All right, from here, if you have like a scarf or one of those long therabands, even a short towel, we're gonna do what's called aptly stretch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach up to overhead, bend that elbow, and you're looking to take your opposite hand, palm up, and you're gonna grab on and try to work those hands together. If you are someone that can just grab on and interlace your hands and interlace your fingers, go for it. We wanna work to not arch here, so ribs down, Chin in, and we're gonna hold this about 30 seconds. <sighs> nice work. Just gonna try to open and let everything relax. While you're a pretzel. You While you're a pretzel, relax. try to relax. And when you're ready, gradually come out of that. Same thing, opposite side. So reaching up, bend the elbow. As the opposite hand reaches under, you put your palm away from the small of your back. Top hand is palm towards the back. So it looks like this. Maybe one day I'll be able to interlace those fingers. I was always so shocked when people can do that. Good, 10 more seconds. And go ahead and release. Fantastic. All right, make your way back down. We're gonna do a little bit of child pose and thread the needle. So toes together, knees divide. Just start with a normal child's position, palms down and drop back. Sway your body side to side a little bit here. Sway your torso side to side. From here, you're gonna come up to all fours, hands beneath the shoulders. Let's take your left hand, palm up, and you're just gonna gently slide the hand underneath the shoulder, lowering the outside of the shoulder towards the floor, and then walk your right hand a little bit over your head. Breathe here. And when you're ready, go ahead and gradually release out of that. Same thing, opposite side. Palm up, slide under. And open. Very good. From here, we're going to go down into down dog and into pigeon for the hips as our final couple of stretches. If you don't enjoy pigeon, if it doesn't feel good on your body, you're welcome to lie on your back for figure four. Otherwise, let's place the hands beneath the shoulders, drive your hips nice and high, and let's start with your right leg. You're going to swing your right leg forward, square that shin to the shoulder as best you can, and then gently lean forward. Don't just drop into that hip, hold some tension. Kind of a little bit of an oxymoron. You wanna hold tension as you try to relax. <laughs> Shoulders back and down, you can lift the chest here. And if you'd like to grab that back foot, add a little bit of a quad stretch, 10 more seconds. Make sure you're not twisting the knee, keeping the thigh nice and level. And then release that. We're gonna sit down onto the right hip and swing that back leg around for seated twist. Ah. 
All right, great job, everybody. We're just gonna even ourselves out, do this down dog and pigeon and see the twist on the opposite side. And that completes our session. So let's go ahead and make unwind, make your way back into down dog. Let's give a little love to the calves when we're in this last position of down dog. So push through the mid back, walk out those heels. And then it's gonna be left leg this time, swinging that left leg forward for pigeon whenever you're ready. Square the hips and shoulders. Shoulders back and down. And breathe. Or at least focus on your breath. If you'd like to grab the back foot. And when you're ready, go ahead and release that back leg, swing it around, final position, seated twist. Really lengthen through the spine, pull that leg in and gently bring yourself into a little bit of a rotation. All right, everybody. Over the next couple of days, keep yourselves stretched out behind the back stretches, those tricep side bends that we do, using your doorway to just lean into it and opening through the chest. Keep that upper body stretched out, drink plenty of water, and we'll be back here live on Thursday. All right, take care.